Hi, I'm Paul. I'm going to give you a quick tour of BuzzStream for link building. BuzzStream helps you conduct more effective outreach by streamlining link research and improving your tracking capabilities, and that leads to more links. Let's start by looking at how BuzzStream takes the work out of researching link opportunities and documenting them. When I come across a potential link opportunity, I use BuzzStream's bookmarklet, called the BuzzMarker, to gather information about the site, and then if it makes sense, I add it as a link contact in my account. Now, right now I'm building links for a fly fishing guide site and I found this potential link opportunity. Let's see what happens when I buzz mark the page. The buzz stream starts by scanning the site and collecting information that I can use to streamline my efforts. We'll start by looking at the metrics. The buzz marker pulls a set of metrics that helps me quickly prioritize the opportunity. In this case I've got a PR2 site with 172 inbound links and it's about a five and a half year old site. Now, given that it's highly relevant, I'll go ahead and set it to medium. I'll also set the relationship stage to not started since I haven't tried to contact the site owner yet. If I want to, I can also assign the contact to someone else that I work with, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this contact assigned to me. Let's look at the link information. Now, when you buzz mark a page that's already linking to your site, the buzz marker automatically collects all of the link information for you. That saves you the time of documenting things like the page that it's linking to, the anchor text, whether or not it's a no-follow, and the number of outbound links on the page. But for link opportunities like this, you can easily enter all the information that you need to manage the opportunity effectively. So in this case, my goal is to get this organically. But if this had been a paid link opportunity, I can keep track of all of the purchase information. I'm also going to enter the page on my site I'd like them to link to, and the anchor text. Now I'm not required to enter this information, but it comes in handy when I actually get a link because BuzzStream will check to make sure that they're linking to the page that I wanted and that it's using the anchor text that I'd hoped for. Now while I was adding this information, in the background the buzz marker was looking for contact information. And for this site it looked to the contact us page and it found two email addresses and in the who is record it found the street address. So that's all I need to do to add the contact to my account. Now BuzzStream goes to work to help me keep track of the link opportunity. For example, when I communicate with my contacts, BuzzStream automatically keeps track of those interactions for me. As you can see, I started talking to the site owner through Twitter and then made an actual link request through email. But what did I have to do to get this information into BuzzStream? Well, not much. Any Twitter conversations you have with your contacts are automatically discovered and added to the contact record. So in this case, I never had to do a thing. And for email, when I sent it, I just BCC'd my BuzzStream email address, and it was automatically added to the contact record. Having a complete view of all of the relevant information about a link partner, including the reasons I thought they were relevant and the conversations I've had with them, helps me conduct more personalized, effective outreach. And that's the key to getting links. Once link contacts are added, I can keep track of link activity with the backlink checker. The backlink checker gives me all kinds of information about my link contacts. I can see if a site is linking to me, if the anchor text matches what I'd requested, it checks to see if it's a nofollow, and it looks for flagged words on a page that might mean I'm in a bad neighborhood. Finally, BuzzStream's filtering capabilities makes it easy to manage my relationships in an ongoing fashion. I can quickly filter on things like link partners that are rated high value but haven't been started yet, or ones where a link agreement is in place but the site isn't actually linking, or any recurring payments that are coming due soon. Filters help bring order to link building by letting you find contacts that are alike so that you can work them all at one time. They also help you find the problematic links so you can address them proactively. So that's a quick summary, but we've really just scratched the surface of what you can do. So if you have any questions, just email us at help at buzzstream.com.